Hi everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a Divine Masculine Twin Flame read for you today and I'll probably pull a couple cards at the end as well. Um, I'd stay tuned because there's some really beautiful messages that came through for both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine Twin Flames. It is January 5th, 2019, not 2018, 2019. It's all about the five of the Hierophant, which is all about commitment and tradition, the old templates to be broken, um, and we have the uh, solar partial eclipse today. Not that there's any sun here anyway. It's a really rainy day. Um, some loud noises earlier, which were was my neighbor blasting their music in their car, which they do sometimes, which just basically shakes my whole house. But anyway, <laughs> it's letting all those things go. There's some masculine acting out, which um, is coming out through that reference, okay? The day adds up to 18, 9, which is perfect for the new moon today. It's the moon, 18. It's that 9 of compassion, having compassion amidst other people's outbreaks, okay? And uh, also endings, definitely, and um, universal selflessness, okay? So we have the Hierophant and the moon. So for the feminine, really about, you know, commitment you know, emphasizing that commitment to yourself. With the eclipse today, you know, it's a partial solar eclipse. And with an eclipse, you know, when you have full sun, there's full exposure. When there's a partial eclipse of the sun, it may be deceiving because you're, you're not going to get the full exposure during the day that you normally would. So don't necessarily believe everything you experience within the eclipse energies, okay? Because it's blocking out some of the information that you need. So just keep that in mind. And of course, there's never any fear about this stuff, okay? And was there something else? So as I was uh, doing the Divine Masculine read, um, there was some stress and fear coming up. In the shuffle, it was a little stiff and PC or choppy when I, when I was dealing the cards or shuffling the cards. And also something that came up for me today was that was important was I've been... Um, uh, picturing my a picture of me at a young age, okay, so I think I showed it once on the line, but anyway, this is me when I was in Memphis, Tennessee as a little girl, okay, and so I've been picturing that picture every morning and asking her what she needs to feel loved, right, because it's your inner child who didn't know when they were young um, why they had to go through what they went through, but anyway, so I've been asking my uh, inner child every morning what they need to feel loved and today she wasn't coming in fully she was coming in very etheric um like she's disappearing which is is a good thing because it means you're integrating into your full self so i just wanted to bring that up in case you guys wanted to try that um, it was very helpful every day because i was getting an idea of what my inner self i would see her she'd either want to sleep more or she'd be up and, and sucking her thumb and wanting to play with me so um you know you might want to give that a try to see how it works for you but today I was getting her fading away, okay? Meaning that you, you're integrating yourself into a whole, okay? So for the Divine Masculine, this was done at 10, 44, 45, 46 is when I ended and I was positioning the cards. And the, there, the uh, Major Arcana was the, lo was the moon, which is lunar in the, uh, the Assyrian Starseed deck. Luna, Starseed, Lovers, and Shadow, which is the moon the fool, the lovers, and the devil. And I'm also feeling this rushed energy of that nervousness today. You might be able to tell that, okay? So I don't know if it's necessarily me or my twin, but there's definitely that energy coming through of feeling rushed, you know, like when you're late for something. Um, the the, the uh, suits that came out, um, three swords, two wands, one pentacle, one cup. So the masculine's more in their head than anything. Um, it's not the worst, but it's not great either. The only um, court card that came up is the Page of Swords, which was in the position of how the masculine sees himself, which is in his head and immature in their communications, but also seeing a little bit of light, so that's good. The numbers that came up for the coding, and the coding was all about love, just pure love, which was perfect, and it was just 444 and then 445, and I would say that I was born like from on the hour, 44 minutes to the 45th minute, so that's important for me. But and then we have 
54 again. But anyway, the 444 came up, that's the angelic realms. 44 is all about the masters. And then fours, if you look up angelic coding, um, the fours going out extensively is all about different angelic um, coding. So ask for your angels to help you if you need it. And um, as far as the coding, the 76 came up, six is love, lovers. And then 82 came up, 19, 66, 32, 11. So I was wondering if the 76ers were coming up, because they'd come up recently. Um, I wasn't seeing anything significant about that, except there was one heading where the um, Sixers are partnering with the Devils, which came up today as well. Um, so the Devil, the NHL, New Jersey Devils, the owners are partnering with Caesars, that own three casinos, or Caesars Entertainment, and that was, uh, that news article was from October 30th, 2018, so it was very recent. So maybe the Sixers did come up for a reason, maybe some of you need to know that. Also, sharing and growth hormones were coming up, that it was showing me a parallel between um, working and your partnership with your your twin flame. So it's like the divine feminine within the masculine is that's your love section of the life and then you're going it's like the AC, the alternating current between that and the love of crystals or energy or work or your practical things, okay? So the flow between your connection, it's like the heart going back into the heart and then going back out to the extremities. It's paralleling the same thing. There's going to be this alternating current which is the dance that they talk about when you talk about the union dance, okay? So this was coming up for the mask and to understand that um, within the sharing between you, it's like saintly growth hormones, or in other words, love, okay? So growth hormones was definitely coming up in one of the articles as well today, as well as actinum, which is the symbol for actinum, AC, and also what I was drawn to was addiction counselor, so if somebody needs that, that was coming up for a reason. Um, also, Route 66 and Route 76 were coming up. And that's funny because I took 76 to work and 66 is paralleling to love. So again, the alternating current between your connection and then going out to the world, okay? And then I was also being shown that 82, which came up in the coding, is the reflection of 28. Again, 28 is the twins together, the twin flames, and then 82 is that opposite, okay? So it's that one masculine energy of going out um, and doing the growth work, the expansion work. So the headings that came up for you guys was, like I said, the 76ers thing, and then a lot of stuff about crystals came up, six basic crystals, that there's seven um, shapes, the cubic, isometric, um, I'm sorry if I pronounce these things wrong, but uh, tetragonal, or tetragonal, okay, tetragonal, um, orthorhombic, hexagonal, trigonal, and then triclinic and monoclinic. Okay, so then the Super 6 crystals came up. That was from reference.com, and then from crystallage.com came up Super 6, which is amethyst, clear quartz, smoky quartz, hematite, um, I don't know if it's geothite or geotite, and then hercoxonite came up, and then six crystals for seven chakras, and that was from Gem Haven, if you want to look that up. Super 7 came up from UniversalLifeTools.com, and that's clear quartz, amethyst, smoky. Um, what did I write? I can't read my writing. Okay, cacoxonite came up again, geotite again, and then lepidocrosite. Anyway, all of them from Brazil. Um, hematite. It's probably the other one. If something else comes up, I'll let you know. But anyway, you can look that up. That was on um, universallifetools.com. Crystal skulls, a site for, it's actually artwork where they make um, crystal skulls out of Druzy. They were actually quite beautiful. Um, you might want to see that. It's under Druzy carved skulls art. Um, sixfold. Then the sixfold nature of snow came up. And I guess the theory started in Prague late in 1611. And it's about quantum electrodynamics of oxygen and hydrogen. 
and you can look that up as well under storyofsnow.com. A and P channel six or chapter six, excuse me. The skeletal system flashcards. This was from Quizlet.com. The compact bone is made up of osteon, which is only found in compact bone. The osteon is the shape of the bone tissue. Compact bone resists applied pressure when it is applied from the bottom of the osteon or when pressure is applied from the top of the osteon. Okay, so someone may need to know that. And it's interesting just that the bone came up because I was getting bone on bone the other day with the coating, which was, you know, someone having issues with their joints and losing all, you know, the padding in their joints. So if that relates to you, please comment below. Um, the Six and the Crystals of Ayalana by Kathleen, or Kath, Kathleen Brooke, or Caitlin Brooke, excuse me. Um, so it was, it was, I was coming, I was getting this, it was coming up in reference to teens, like that it was appropriate for teens and above, but it was standing out for me about teens, so this may be a, a good way to break, break in teens about crystals, but the six and the crystals of Ayalana. And then also the effects of octreotide on the biliary lipid composition and occurrence of cholesterol crystals came up in patients with acromegaly, okay? And that was from link.springer.com. Um, the first author in that was S. Erlinger, in case you want to look it up. And it was referencing that um, octreotide causes gallstones. Um, then a chandelier's site came up. They were mid-century from um, firstdibs.com. And that was uh, also Super 7 Melody Stone from eBay. And then Celestite came up. And I want to show you that because that's good for the... Um, I don't know if you can see it real well. This is for the, um, the pineal gland, okay, for your awakening. This is really helpful. And it's a really pretty stone, too. The celestite. And it's called Celestite and the Seven Sisters because it's from Pleiades. Okay, and they, it said Reiki God's Love from blogspot.com. That, it that it's the stone from the Pleiades, okay? But if you look it up, you're gonna, it's all about um, expanding your third eye, okay? And then AC cars came up, because AC came up in the coding about the British car that was Auto Carriers Limited, so that came up. So I don't know if any of you guys are dealing with British cars, but that came up for that. Alright, so we get right into it. And I was getting coding again for the Divine Masculine and Feminine. I haven't worked it all out, but I was getting that the Feminine aspect, the God aspect, is S. For Sophia and that the God aspect is that C for Christ energy and just like that the N is coming up for Jesus and the M for Mary Magdalene but you see that actually that the masculine in both of those situations is half of the feminine and not the other way around so comment below on that I'm sure I'll get somebody's gander up there um, so we start with the divine masculine read this was at 1141 and 37 also came up, which is the King of Cups. Great. So, destiny of detoxing to find peace for the masculine. It was very peaceful starting out in the underlying energy. That was the Six of Swords. There's a Three of Cups, and the, the card didn't come up, but Three Cups were exposed in another card of Cups. Um, but they were coming up as a distant memory. But the three-party situation is now going to, going to, to be a distant memory, which is kind of uh, paralleling with uh, my inner self child um, fading away okay so the divine feminine within the divine masculine um, is all about that love energy this the feminine s9 for me is sophia nine the, the feminine collective consciousness so love is being identified as the feminine collective consciousness and don't forget all the masculines have feminine in them as well so not choosing favorites here okay there's conflict out in public for the masculine it's like tickets to see the show because they may be embarrassed by it um, and then rumbling came up from outside this was when my neighbor I didn't know what it was it sounded like thunder and airplane it was very kind of deep and dark energy and this was 1149 which is the nine of cups there may be a little bit of arrogance coming up there then red white and light blue is the 1111 this is what I'm being shown with basket weave of X's. 
okay? That are woven together to form a chalice in order to hold fruit or bear fruit, okay? Again, red, white, and light blue, not red, white, and blue, but red, white, and light blue, which yesterday I said was being coded as the color of Jesus, red, white, and light blue is the union of the 1111 with basket weave with X's all over it, okay? Because it's showing how the X's all come together, woven together to form a chalice in order to bear fruit, okay? This is how the family is expanded. Dark blue, or kind of a tealish dark middle to dark blue, with stars on it, is being referenced here as an angry cancer energy who's performing, who's dressed up as a character but not happy about it. You know, like a puppet in a puppet show? Too many choices, all beautiful. Jewelry, a home, something green, a dragon, a kundalini snake, a sculpture, or a surprise. Also enticing. Unlike the union energies here, which is coming up as black and white. The sphinx playing their cards right. Black and white sphinxes, two different ones, on the opposite ends, playing their cards right. The bridge from 11 to 11 is natural growth with a ribbon on top, the key to their hearts. Boldly moving from home to dreams, heaven in their eyes to find peace. The Empress is reversed, very unhappy out in public. The King of Swords hides behind star, dreams, healing, processing uncomfortable emotions about making choices in order to find peace. So again, that noise, I don't know if it, you can't hear it, he started playing just now again too. But here in my notes, he had started again noise again was my neighbor's car he's blasting his music um and that was bringing up the masculine bringing their conflict is showing out in the open okay he's conflicted he has you know obviously he needs to let his aggressions out so then was coming up ring around the rosy a pocket full of posy ashes ashes we all fall down okay and that's referencing my cd as well ashes twin towers to twin flames okay that and i was just bringing up the ashes. Oh, that'll come up in the read. Light blue all around was coming up as the energy here. Light blue like the sky, that Jesus energy. Clear skies. Icy like snowflakes. And then snowflakes came up in the codes today. Blankets of warm, warmth like icicles. So instead of the snowflakes, the beautiful six pointed stars coming up as cold and icy or icicles they're coming up as blankets of warmth the king of swords sees the truth via the ripple effect still stuck in their emotions the dark trying to poke holes in his truth or align with his truth in order to skew it and that goes along with the lines of you know all the dark needs to do is change one word of a light workers um, message and they change the whole message this is what the dark around the masculine are trying to do, trying to make him believe they're on his side so that they can skew his truth, okay? So the divine masculine's back is now vulnerable. There's separation here in the underlying energy for the masculine, separation and make the effort. There's sexual conflict and third party is out. The divine masculine's back is vulnerable, blocked from sweets and tweets and weather veins pointing north but straight up north, in the fall. Baby butts in the middle of all, butting into adults business. Parents wrapped around their little finger, actually roped and tied. Almost had your hooks in me, didn't you dear? Actually roped and tied. So um, Elton John came up here, Someone Saved My Life Tonight, but also another song by Code 7 came up, if you wanna to listen to that. It's not something I'm real familiar with, but it was called Code 7, so. Both of those came up about being roped and tied. Someone saved my life tonight from Elton John, but that was the more profound. I mean, you can't listen to that without really feeling it. Or karmic tries a pregnancy to keep him there, but the twin ties are free to fly, fly away, bye-bye. Their ties, the twins ties, are a reminder to themselves to love themselves first. All right, it's all about hypnotize. Sweet freedom whispers in my eye, and I was getting sweet whispers as well because Cupid was coming up here. Sweet whispers from Cupid, sweet, it's all about hypnotize, like the karmic's been hypnotizing him, 
could be using spells, okay? Using the Divine Feminine's energy to pretend like she's her. All right, so sweet freedom whispers in my ear, and I wrote I first instead of ear, so spirit does this to me sometimes to change the word, so both are supposed to come up. Sweet freedom in my eye, in my ear, you're a butterfly, and butterflies are free to fly, fly away, bye-bye. Leaving behind the scissors or cutters, magnets or horseshoe fly, don't bother me, and gold coin or 30 pieces of silver. This is what the masculine is leaving behind, okay? The underlying energy signs that were coming up just for the underlying part of the read, Libra, Capricorn reversed, Cancer reversed, Aquarius and Taurus reversed. So only ones I said were reversed were reversed. Leo and Pisces also came up as well as Virgo reversed, okay? So taking sweets with, with him, and this was at 1217 to 18, taking the sweets with him, rose pink is not the opposite of ash. It is the complement, two sides of the same coin. All right, so this resonated with me because you'll see um, in the etheric realms, you know how I brought up colors before, that whatever color you see in the 3D is actually the opposite in your etheric realm, what the colors you see inside yourself. So it's the same with rose pink and, and, and charcoal gray. Rose pink here is charcoal gray and vice versa. So if you see black or charcoal gray, you're going to see rose pink in the etheric realm inside of you. So this is coming up outside of me, all right? So that rose pink is not the opposite of ash or charcoal. It is the complement, two sides of the same coin. And there's a happy ending here for the masculine. And beneath it, financial discipline. So having gotten all their financial stuff worked out, there is a happy ending for them. Payoff exposed, bad feelings, processing. Victimized, sweet freedom whispered in my ear. You're a butterfly. Escaping the box, the chains, the greasy wheel for the masculine. Finding a way out. Almost had him hooked again with stinger, magnet, patronage. Okay, or sort of patronage. Um, dar darkening the flame connection. Okay, so almost had their hooks back in him to pull him back in again. Reeling him in, okay, with the fishing hook. Um, trying to darken the flame connection when he's already realized it's the light and then they're trying to uh, put, you know, poke new holes in it, like I said before. Now he's above that trap. Free, no regrets, happy to steal back his thoughts, his pride, his work, blue skies ahead. Left a few behind so she could see her reflection as his brown boots walked out the door. Lasers, focus, and all. Do what they must. I'm wearing my burgundy stockings. <laughs> <laughs> and showing my skinny legs. So some masculine saying this. Pretty funny. And his tile ceiling. So there may be a tile ceiling that Karmic didn't like. Free to feel emotions, to cry if he wants to. Make his own choices and find peace apart, a new romantic tie and a happy ending. The wounded warrior starts over with partner Leo in past, which didn't work out. Okay, so now he's escaping from that. Or... In the past, in the recent past, they have seen eye to eye about starting over and separating to find peace. The foundation for the masculine is the moon and the emotional tides, news and messages, kids being defensive when treats or choices are taken away from them now in separation. Centrally, there's a new passion of self-love, of new love, fighting for self by expanding, growing, coming out of hiding with a king of wands and a king of cups. And the emperor comes up above them as well. The challenge for the masculine now is sharing, his, sharing a love message and expressing feelings to kids, most likely, exposing all about a fantasy dream girl, the smart one, the moderate one. And this is not me saying this, this is what the cards are saying. Now the anxiety about coming clean to the, about the 5D or to the 5D, to his feminine, the king of wands and king of cups and emperor, Dumping illusions, meditating on a new life outside the box, over, su over the suffering cycles and being drained, or to end suffering of his beloved, not allowing the karmic or kids to spend all his money, take his power or his independence. The Queen of Wands has the Emperor to control her. So I was getting that he was referencing her father. So the King of Wands and the King of Cups and that fantasy legacy Aquarius Leo, which can be the Emperor or the Queen of Wands, 
is under the emperor's control. The wounded warrior is now con consoled by his destiny, possibly Libra energy there and new love. At night, the queen of swords speaks to others about burdens and or third parties. And soon, the star seeds is inspired by dysfunctional family or legacy loss in, to meditate around the world with new love, peace, and someone to push, row, or paddle when the Queen of Swords is creatively or sexually frustrated. <laughs> so there's a little joke there, okay? He is the Page of Swords, the missing piece. The light, no matter how small it may be at the time, coming together, tired of working and being sad or regretful. The Emperor finds justice in offering him money or a new life offer or a divorce payoff. Around him is the lovers in spiritual trap of the King of Cups reverse, which has been coming up as that Emperor, when, especially when the King of Cups is reversed. But this Emperor doesn't know that he can't break their permanent bond, okay, so having to do with the twins. Clear blocks for the masculine of grief, victimization, and going back just to walk away again and go within. Um, love came up for the masculine and even more so rebirth. The twins look back to end the pain for good. Shadow is anxiety, but the wounded warrior is letting go of the wounds that they've been holding on to, making magic by manifesting his own knowing, ending the pain of the Queen of Cups, transformation, death, or ending with the harsh truth and not avoiding this time, the third party. He's no longer pretending and he is confessing. Shadow of immediate family, top three, lies and withholding, they do not reflect me, per the Divine Masculine, he says. The High Priestess, or secret, or psychic abilities, but the High Priestess shares in, in the poor decision making, or deliberation, with the Divine Masculine. Recovering from the silent treatment, letting go of holding on, no fixing this time. So whereas before the masculine would always hold on because the karmic wanted something fixed or fix the relationship or the house needed to fix, whatever it was, that he was being nice because she was manipulating him back in. No fix, holding on, letting go of holding on, no fixing this time. Deception is theirs, not mine, per the masculine. <laughs> With new moon, uh, today, can, the um, eclipse can be deceiving. He wisely circumspects and comes out wide awake and revealing. No, oh, he says, look, no hands needed. So in other words, if he is the hangman with his hands tied behind his back, it doesn't matter because he doesn't need his hands to do what he needs to do. So for the whole read, the energies were coming up. Libra, Aries, Aquarius, Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, and Taurus in the rest of the read. Um, the ones that were coming up reversed were Aquarius, Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, and Taurus. So traveling to peace at the solar eclipse, the partial eclipse today, which is tonight for the east coast where I am, um, it starts at 9.42 tonight, I believe. The new moon with partial solar eclipse. With news or message of lover, the wounded warrior, new passion for sharing in a leap of faith, but having trouble showing his face because he's still letting go of anxiety the dark side of his moon, ending lying family. Okay, so there's an end, a cycle ending of a family. Okay, so now I'm going to pull you some cards. Um, I'm going to, I'll just do one quick one because it's getting long already. That's 2844, that's the Twin Flames and Mastering. And I'll do the, I'll do more cards for the uh, Divine Feminine read. Okay, so clear and align and take a deep breath. Just one last advice. Uh, what is it since Jesus and Mary Magdalene are coming up today? Christo Sophia, Christo Sophia, what is the advice for everyone today, everyone watching? Those watching for the best and highest uh, of those concerned. And today is January 5th, 2019. What is the advice? So, no easy way out of this. All right, so I guess that's a message. A whole bunch of cards dumped out together. So I was hoping only one card so it wouldn't be so long. But I'll show you the cards. I don't know if I'm going to get into it too much. There's a lot of cards here. One, two, three, all right, that was six, because we talk, we're talking about love and six today. So we've got six cards. We have here the Page of Swords reversed. We have the Nine of Pentacles upright. We have the um, Knight of, of Wands here. We have the Seven of Swords reversed. We have the Three of Wands upright, and then the Knight of Swords upright. And the bottom of the deck, 
which I'm going to stump the whole deck over, it is a lover's reverse, okay? So this is a final breakup, and behind that is expressing their feelings, okay? So that's great. And also it's coming from uh, the King of Pentacles reverse, losing money and status, and the Wounded Warrior is behind him backing that up. So, okay, that's him, the Wounded Warrior, after losing money and status. Okay, now expressing his feelings. Okay, passion exchange, whether it's a heated argument or just him expressing his feelings, all right, to end something. So then the cards that came out were about the Page of Swords reverse, which is... It could be spying and stalking. It could be lying. Kids lying, for sure. is definitely coming up as a theme this week. Um, and then, so there might be one kid that is lying and stalking and doing some bad stuff, and then the other kid, this could be an older teenager who's good. This is the one who's the good student and doing the right thing, all that kind of thing. So it could be mixed in the kid's situation. This also could be just being sovereign, whether it's the masculine or the feminine, being in their power as a single person alone, but having everything they need around them, their comfort, Okay, and this is getting busy, getting passionately writing in. So it doesn't have to be about writing in to the other. It could just be about getting errands done and getting things done to close up the chapter of this ending of the family, okay? And then we have the Seven of Swords, which is about fessing up, telling the truth. It could be a little bit of sneakiness or trying to get out of something without hurting people. That's this energy here. And then we have uh, the Three of Wands, which is about staying present. It can be your ships coming in. But for the journey, I see this always now as being present because you see there's nothing in the future here for him. It's desert. This is staying present in the beauty that's right around you. Look, you have growth here. There's no growth out there. It's all right there, right around you. Staying present and adamantly telling your truth, even if it's difficult sometimes, even if you think someone won't like you if you tell the truth. This is the night of, this is also the knight in shining armor coming in with some truth, but it could you know, it could be a little harsh, okay? But that's okay. Tell the truth. Get it all clean slate in the beginning so that you have nothing to be sorry for later, okay? Drink your water, and um, I'm going to show you your read real quick. Okay. And rise and be loved, guys. See you later.